What's up? It's your boy Triple D, and I'm back with another video. Yeah, man, it's been like a week or so. I've been waiting like four days, but it feel like I've been waiting forever. And uh, yeah, we messing with Gabby today. The sun's out bright, man. It's early in the morning. My kids are at school, so I'm free to do whatever. You know what I mean? So yeah, we about to mess with the cut, the uh, car right here, and get the um underskirts on i don't know if i'm saying that right i might be saying the name of these parts wrong but these parts right here on the ground go in the fender liner that's what they're called they go in the fender liner right here so i'm going to uh as you can see i had brought some new ones but after i got a tune i had to drive it home and it pretty much ate the entire thing up so I ate this one up too on this side. So I just zip tied them for the time being and uh, left it as is. But today, man, we're going to go ahead and put these uh, new ones on right here. And uh, man, hopefully, uh, you know, everything will be good on it, which I'm pretty sure it will. We'll try to slap the bumper on today so that um, we don't have to worry about them getting ate up again and, you know, bumping up against the tires like that. So yeah, it's bright and sunny out here, man. It's not really hot yet. So let's try and get this done before the sun start really beaming, which is getting there. So I'm gonna grab a drink. Let's move these cars out the way, to maneuver them so I can get the car up in the air and let's get cracking. You know what I'm saying? I did not eat breakfast this morning. So I encourage you to eat, eat healthy. I'm getting older. I can't eat hot chips in the morning no more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gotta start eating smart. All right. Tall glass of water, fruit bowl. I'm ready to go. Yeah, the heat is kicking, man. But the good thing about the heat kicking is these little plastic things right here that come in, the, in when they come in, they're really stiff. So they're hard to like maneuver, like it doesn't want to stretch or move. So the good thing is by, by them sitting in the sun like this, it makes them very, very foldable. They're like really easy to fold. They're really easy to bend. See, look at that. I can kick that out, no problem. So, um, yeah. Now that we got the wheels off, let's put them on. Uh, let's start taking the old ones off. This is one of the old ones right here. This is one of the old ones. It's, it's like a long piece and then it gets short and goes up front and then goes out the front for your bumper to attach to. Um, I did not have the back one, so I never had a back one. Uh, actually, no, I'm lying. There's a back one on there. It's just super dirty. Um, but uh, the other side has complete two two new ones. So on this side, this one's new. And uh, this one was new, but this one got ate up by the tire. So let's start taking the old ones off and putting the new ones on. This is a little bit better view 
on the back one, you can get a good view on the front one. But this sun is just relentless, man. Oh, here's the other one right here. Off in this damn hole. It's kind of hard to get to. And then this, they have a screw right here on the side skirt. I don't know if you can see that. That screw right there. Take that out and then it'll fall. All right, so before we go any further, I just wanna show this product right here. This is uh, called Dr. Rock. Um, I just looked it up on Amazon and I just typed in my, my year make model and then put um, uh, plastic tabs, you know, and this popped up. All right, guys, so this is the best view I can get with a little shade, it is freaking hot. Okay. All right, so we got that screw out. Let's pull this bad boy out. Gosh. So we can zoom it in. Here, it looks great. It's protecting my electronics. So, yeah. We're inside. Done inside. I've set my little tent up. It is freaking hot, man. So, like I said, the back was already on here from the uh, first time I done this. Um, so the back is already on. The front, as you can see, it got chewed up. Like the tire completely put a square in it. So let's take out these little things on here and cut the zip ties and stuff and get the new one on. Trying to pick it up. So yeah, let's stick a zip tie in here and see how well it holds up. So this goes in there, zip tie right here. Oh shit. All right, so check this out. So I'm putting this thing on here and I got it on there, but then I noticed my control arm is cracked. Damn. Look at that shit. Holy. That's just fucking great. Now I gotta check this control arm. I guess I'll be getting new control arms. And that's crazy because I had something fu feeling funny in the front and I thought it would be like the tie rod ends or something, but the outside ones or something, but nope, that's what it is right there. I'm riding around on a control arm that's cracked. That's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. Ooh, it's hot out here. All right, man. So everything, you know, came together good as far as the little skirts or whatever, underskirts. I'm about to try and slap the bumper on. I mean, still got to put the car together. Um, but as far as the control arms go, um, just going to have to buy new ones. So 
it's all good, man. Um, I'm about to get the bumper out the backyard, bring it to the front, and let's see if we can slap it on, man, make it look normal again. All right, so I got the bumper on there, but I just got it kind of like mocked up on here with just, you know, about two of these, one, two, there's a third one over here. Holding it up, just holding it in place. Um, now, unlike everybody else, this may be a very simple install, but for me, since, you know, we got all this frame damage over here, we, uh, it's kind of off over here. As you can see, it's overlapping right there. Kind of won't fit right here. So it uh, takes a little playing with it to get it right. So that's what I'm gonna do, man. I'm gonna uh, kind of play with it. I'm not gonna show it on camera just because it's, it's so tedious, man, for me. Um, and it's hard to get it on camera, like what I'm doing to make it fit correctly or whatever so yeah man i'm gonna get into that but check out these this mesh grill that i i done up myself man i think it came out pretty good i really do i think that mesh came out pretty good i'm gonna have to cut a hole in the mesh in order to get a tow hook in there but it's all good but yeah man gabby's coming together slowly but surely let's play with this bumper and get it looking right all right, guys, so this is what I ended up with right here. It doesn't look too bad from a distance. I mean, it kind of just looks normal from a distance. Kind of wouldn't even know that it had frame damage, I guess. But up close, there's a lot of flaws that she has. Um, I'm still putting some of it together. But uh, as you can see, man, you kind of have like some edges and stuff that's not really meeting all the way. You know if, what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. I, I tried my best for what, for what this car is. Like I said, it's just a fun car for me. I would like it to look nice, but unfortunately, that's not what I bought. So I have to just deal with um, the little flaws that it does have. But see, like, how that doesn't really meet up correctly. It's kind of, like, not meeting up. I keep having to push down on it. Same thing over here, kind of not meeting up right. I keep having to push down on it. Now, this is the inside, and this is those those underskirts right there. One, there's the other one too, it's forward frontwards. So, it looks clean in here now. This is the passenger side, kind of has a gap in it. See where I zip tied it at? But, all in all, man, it's gonna be enough to work. It's gonna look good. You won't know unless you're like all up on the car, so not too bad. But yeah, uh, I'll put the wheels on tomorrow. I do have to put, I got one bolt right here. I don't know if you can see it inside of that uh, thing right there, but there's a bolt that goes right behind here. You can kinda see it back there. But there's a bolt that goes back there. I already put that bolt in on this side. So this side, I have not done that yet. I still got to move this plastic piece back right here and put the bolt in so that it'll uh, see, you can kind of see it right there. That's where the bolt goes in from the bottom and it'll close that gap. And then that'll just be it, man. Gabby will be, she'll have a front bumper. She won't look so weird with out of front and rear. I'm going to leave the rear off, man. I like it. Uh, like the bumper delete look, you know what I'm saying? Until I get my single exit exhaust, I'm just going to leave that on there. I mean, leave it off of there. Um, I still haven't heard anything from the guy from my fiberglass bumper, man. I'm going to have to get in touch with him. It's almost like he robbed me, bro. It took my shit. <laughs> ain't hit me up. Ain't said nothing. Nothing. But we got the engine bay looking good. Yeah. She's crackalacking, man. We got some more goodies coming. All right, with that being said, we're gonna call it a wrap, man. It's getting dark out here. I can barely see my own hand. So we're gonna call it a wrap. Gabby over there looking good, man. I really appreciate y'all watching my videos. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned. Like I said, we was gonna do the uh, seats next or the exhaust next, but we're gonna have to push that down the line a little bit on the list and uh, to handle this control arm situation. 
So stay tuned to that video. Please like and subscribe. It's your boy Triple D and we are out.